Hello and welcome back to Herf House. I'm Nabs the Architect and we are still playing Hogwarts Legacy. We are quite a ways along. We are currently at the 71% and we are about to do the quest uh, A Basis for Blackmail. So let's do this. Hope everybody is having a good day. It's been good for me. Uh, Went to work. I'm now done with work for the day. Actually, been done for a couple hours now. What? They're in the. They're way over there. All right. Well, let's get way over there. We'll sail through Hog Hogwarts. We look at the beautiful castle. Actually, is kind of neat to look at. To be honest. Conservatory wing over here. I like a house with this on it. Nice conservatory wing on the side of a house. Oh, that would be gorgeous. I'd grow tea! That's what I would put in there. Lots and lots of tea. I like tea. Trying to get off the soda is what I'm really trying to do. I drink too much pop. Love cherry coke. It's an addiction. All right, what do you got? Are for you us? ready to put an end to Harlow? Sure, let's put an end to him. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. All right, I'll speak to him. Oh, yeah, where can I find them? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. All right, let's go. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. All right, so let's... So they're just up here... Let's go speak to people. Well, I for one shot. Let's get the one off way over here. Oh, it's a lot of running. I would not run. Hmm. I would walk. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Well, he's right there. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You should have spoken out. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But? <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? 
I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. All right. So we Harlow got one guy. not like people talking, as you already know. Can't do much when you're petrified. Now, to find Mr. Bickles are the two friends. Um, hmm. Maybe this way's quicker? Oh, it's telling me to go this way. Why don't I just look at the minimap? It's there to assist. Take it. Um, I guess he's in Hogsmeade. Oh no, uh, three bro the brooms. All the way up all those stairs. Well, this is where Mrs. I would Rabe be walking. should be nearby. And then I turn to running. I don't run. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What uh -oh. do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts. And my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Um, okay, why well, would... No, they need her. That's a stupid question. Uh, have you given Horwath any information about Gringot? Yeah, um... Okay, this is just... Have one. you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco. But he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. All right, that's what I need. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Too late for that. We hope you reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own. But we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you wish to see the value are working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us. If you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. All right. One more. One more person who's been terrorized to find. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been... Mr. Your... Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. 
We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Yeah, how's he, how are you hiding the extortion? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. All right, and uh, Mr. Hill seems like a fair man, can't you tell I me? I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man, but when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. All right, thanks for talking. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Yeah, if she didn't get herself caught or something. Do do do. It's fun to do that around the map. It doesn't really help me much in battles. Especially if you're facing trolls. The trolls just turn where you pop up at. Hey, birds! It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Yep, she's in trouble. Should have guessed it. I should have expected it. Good thing the ministry banned on the All right, where are you at? I miss the old crib. That he must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Looks like we follow the footsteps. Revelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Losey little students, huh? If I thought I could compete with Serona, I'd open the own. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Ash Winder hideout. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Here. Looks like a simple enough item to do. A hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Some supplies. Some people. Well, you're not going to be expecting me, so let's uh, let's do this. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Revelio. Not 
This huge room behind that little bar. Good grief. That's a lot of Ashwinders. Locks and guards can't stop me. Find use to my talents, this. I'd prefer to fight my way through this. Can't believe we're forced to work with these goblins. I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. But they need to be reminded that we're still running things. I still got two. Can't hide from me. Well, who's that? Ow. What are you doing? Got rid of that one. Come for you. Akio. There we go. Uh, that's not what I meant. I'm just warming up. Defender. Expulsion! Quite conductive, aren't we? Tired of you. Expulsion! Done! Now you come to me. Miss a payment with me, and I'll make you pay. Well, that did not go as expected, yeah, but I still got it. You are as dear to me as Agra, whose voice foretells the coming rain. You love by me as Coop could be, whose loyalty is true and pain. You must cast a spell over my heart. I want it undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. The book of poems that was taken from Agatha's favorite. I'll be thrilled to have this back. All right, let's oi, oi, oi. be a little quieter. See if we can't. Uh... Revelio. Clear out this place without. Being seen too much. Ooh, another chest. Oh, this is long. You can read this on your own, just pause it. No one wants to hear me read that much. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Yeah, we probably won't do that. Oh, wait, through here. Well, that didn't get me there. Revelio. Ah, this one. Go through the tunnel. Find some more treasure, maybe? Ah. Revelio. Coinage. If I knew it was just coinage, I would have not come back here. Definitely not worth the effort. Alrighty. There's just two up there. Oh, three up there. What's that? Who goes? Who's there? Kinfringo! Akio! Incendio! Bombarda! Oh, I shall endure. You. Ow! Confirm expulsion! 
Expulsion! You got me. Let me expulsion! Potato! Serious chat, wasn't he? That Revelio. could have gone better. Could have gone a lot better. All right, let's finish searching the room, I guess. Are you back here? Anything good? A tree. I can now make a tree. Coinage. A bad glove. Rebellion. Time to go back the way we were going in the first place. Up here. That he must be here somewhere. Nope, nobody there. You found us. I want for you. Oh, I need your help. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend okay, Revelio. Okay, so now we gotta find a wand. It must be blocked by something. We talk to Natty? Nope. Oh. Mr. Duh. Rape's wand could be in there. I would expect this to be booby trapped if I were them. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Protego! Didn't do anything. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. All right. Well, we're. I guess we're gonna fight. Rebellion. Nothing else in here. Oh, it's a quiet room. I missed something over here. Coinage. Oh, not even good coinage. Well, we were going to fight him anyways. Oh, wait. Do we have to go up to go out? Oh, yeah. 
side stair. Forgot about that. Can't go that way. Well, this was easy so far. Nice and uneventful. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Halo once and for all. Revelio. Yep, let's do that. Well, that was quick. Boy, Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. They're already trying to kill us. What difference would it make? They're coming after us anyways. We'll just go understood. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. No, we can't. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. You got a tattle to, to her mother? Oh, cruel. Ah, challenge complete. All right. I don't know if I did everything involved, but I did got the quest done. Ooh, I get a funky coat. You know, I've got to see the fun funky coat. I gotta see the funky coat. Hey, do I have anything good here? No, oh, no. I should pay attention to the gear I pick up. Funky coat is not any better. But let's see what it looks like. Where is funky coat? Funky coat. That's not it. Hey, you're supposed to be in here. Are you Funky Coat? Well, that's not a bad coat all by itself, but I don't think that's the Funky Coat. All right, let's look at it the other way. We know we can put it on this way. Oh, that is, that is awful. 41, 6 and 30, 41 as is. Yep, I'm going to walk around in this coat for a while. This, it's not leathery, but I can't tell what kind of fabric it's supposed to be. Maybe it's a leather? I can't tell. Um, well, since I'm looking at the inventory anyways, we got to go see what that is. And the hat sucks. What's the next quest? Oh, challenge complete. What? Oh, up here. Oh, hey, look at that. 70 dark wizards. Oh, I gotta still defeat more dark wizards. I can feed 100 of them. Oh, boy. That's gonna take a while. What's next on the. I guess it's the surprise meeting. Where's that to be taken at? Oh boy. Uh, well, let's track it. Uh, I think I'm though gonna stop at the requirements room before I go do that. Identify the gear. Oh, both are supposedly better. 
Alright, let's see how much better they supposedly are. Helps if I hit the right button, doesn't it? So one with glasses. Oh, wow, that really does drop the uh the defense. Or the offense. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. What was the other one? Was the other one a hat? No. Gloves? Maybe? No. Well, it definitely wasn't the hat. Pretty sure it wasn't the robe. No, it wasn't that. That's not really any better. All right, I can get rid of all that. And I'm pretty sure none of the robes were better. Yeah. Get a little more defense, but lose too much offense. Oh, I haven't upgraded this jacket at all. Let's take care of that. Yeah, upgrade gear. Uh, I need super feather. Oh, it upgrade the offense then. Now, what do you do? Let's see what that does for my upgrades. What does that? Wrong button. You ah, just a plus four. Well, yeah, it's green and green. We'll wear it. Outposts. What owl have I not listened to? The Ash Riders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We were just leaving uh, for our honeymoon. After we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage, wish me luck. He's going to need luck. Oh, wait a minute. I, I want to make sure I have enough of all my potions. 23... Use two more. Gimme. And gimme. There we go. Alright, now let's travel. Yep, surprise meeting. Um, this isn't far away. Alrighty. Let's do this the fast way. We fly over to meet ya. In this dark, horrible forest. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Fun! They'll understand. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, <laughs> they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Yeah, maybe they know. Maybe they're wiser than the rest of us. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fi- Don't think it'll be fine.
What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Well, here's a tea, a pleasant one. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Slidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Well, that's something. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why... Was he so certain about where we could find one? Yeah, trust him. Centaurs know I things. don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. All right, more waiting. I'll let you know what I find. Well, we don't want to stick around here. Revelio. Well, that's the end of that one for now. Sky's the limit, man. 